are powerful, but you can't be both. Amen. You either win it or you not win it. And we want everything else except where is it that? What he said. Mm -hmm. I'm closing on this. You hold that now. You got all that stuff written down? Mm -hmm. You be you show you got it all written down. Yes, because you be messing up sometimes yes, on this stuff. <laughs> 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 I had to get one in. Get one, one in on your case, my son. Go with me to Romans 3 and 5, and this will be my closing scripture for the day. He said it. How many living speaking spirits do we have in here today? Amen. Raise your hand if you're a living speaking spirit. Amen. Romans 3 and 5. But if our unrighteousness demonstrates the righteousness of God. Now, in the church, amen, if you're born again, believe that you're the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Right. Amen. Now, you can live all the unrighteousness that you want and call it righteousness. It's really not. You no, know, talking to a guy, amen, backslidden, he want to get back to the Lord. I showed him in Ezekiel 30, 33, amen, where Ezekiel said, the day you do righteousness, your unrighteousness not remembered again. The day you do unrighteousness, your righteousness is not remembered anymore. Are y'all free? Yeah. Unrighteousness demonstrating the righteousness of God. I'm shoplifting suits. Glory to God. And come in and tell y'all, oh, just look at how blessed I am. <laughs> My unrighteousness demonstrating the righteousness of God. It doesn't work like that. Amen. Hallelujah. What shall we say? God is not wrong to inflict his wrath on us, is it? Well, now God ain't putting that wrath on me. Not yet. Keep going. Keep going with this. This one right here. See? Keep using unrighteousness to demonstrate the righteousness of God. And because judgment is not swiftly executed, some men's hearts are set to keep right on demonstrating righteousness with unrighteousness. I'm speaking in purely human terms. In other words, plain speech. Certainly not. Or meganoito. God forbid. For otherwise, how would God judge the world? But as you might say, if through my life God's truth was magnified and abounded to his glory, why am I still being judged as a sinner? And why not say, as some slanderously report and claim that we teach, let us do evil, that good may come of it, their condemnation by God is just. Amen? Amen. <coughs> you got three and five? Let every man be a liar and let God's word be true. In other words, no matter what the situation, what the circumstance, or what anybody says, let every man, that include Mama Neil, <laughs> now you don't call your parents no liar, but you know, uh, Mama Nim have passed some lies down to you. You ought to get rid of Mama Nim lies. Let every man <laughs> be a liar and let God's word be true. Why? That you might be justified in your sayings or that you might be justified in what you speak. And sometimes you got to stand up by yourself. 
But make sure you got the word. You got what God said. Amen. And now you can speak. So you think about the major thing in your life this week. The major thing that you need to overcome. Get your concordance out. Find what the scripture says about it. And take the word of God and start speaking the word of God. In it. Glory to God. I watch my daddy, my daddy, my blood daddy. Died 43 years old. Blood coming out of his eyes, his ears, his mouth. And the white cells had eaten up so many of the red cells, his blood looked like a real light pink. It wasn't even rose color. It looked like a, you know, what's the name of that wine? You know, it looked pink when you put it in the glass. That light pink, is it a rose? Rose. A Zinfandel? <laughs> what's the other name of it? Chardonnay? What, y'all know about all this stuff? Come on. Name me. Name these wines here. Huh? It wasn't no Merlot. Moscato. <laughs> and I stood there. I stood there. As a, 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 a young man. And it was nothing that I could do. I didn't know anything to do except to cry. But as you can see, crying didn't stop. And the reason why I switched over, because I was a Baptist boy preacher. Woo, I, man, you talking about hit that organ? Hmm. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I had my little rhythm and everything. But the people over there was talking about healing. And I thought about my daddy. I said, man, if I knew about, if I knew about healing, oh, I probably could have did something for it. So y'all have to excuse me. I, amen, will not talk sickness and disease with you. I don't understand what you say. Amen. 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 <laughs> so you talking sickness and disease to me, you talking to the wrong person. If you talking broke, you ain't talking to the right person. Amen. Because I whoop, shut it off, turn the TV off. Do Amen. And not becoming more and more like Jesus. That's what you're talking about? More and more like Jesus. You think you like that? No, 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 no. Here, let every man be a liar. Let God's word be true. That you be justified in what you say. He said it. He'll do it. If he wasn't going to do it, if he wasn't going to do it, he wouldn't have said it. If he was not going to make it good, he would not tell you to speak it. That's why Paul said, I'm not ashamed of this good news. For it is the power of God under salvation to everyone that believes. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Friends, find the word and overcome it. No matter what it is. If it's sickness, overcome it with the word of God. Amen. I saw in there what God said, I'll take sickness out of your midst and, and the number of your days I will fulfill. Hallelujah. I'm the Lord thy God that healeth thee. That means continually. Yes. Healing is always taking place, always working. It's working right now. Amen. And I read, do you have pleasure in the prosperity of his servants? I read what he said about my children. That's what I read. You see victory, huh? Sometimes it don't look like it, but you keep speaking. You keep speaking, and that and that thing will that thing will arrange itself according to the word of God. Father, in Jesus' name, we glorify you and honor you for your goodness and for your mercy. We thank you, Father God. You said it, you do it. You spoke it, and you will make it good. Amen. And so today we glorify you. We magnify you. We magnify you. We honor you. Yes. 
We lift you up and extol you. Your word. You put your word above all your name. Your word, hallelujah. Your word, let your word be magnified among us, Father God. That word working in us, Father. We know you gave us the word, Father God, because you're doing it. Hallelujah. Your word has opportunity in us. Your word has place in us. Your word of healing, your word of deliverance. Your word, amen. Yes, Father. Has a place in us. Yes. And it's so marvelous. Yes. We give you praise. We give you glory. Amen. 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 Praise.